That was aggressive. Ayo. Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm clearly doing a lot of hand videos lately because I'm still doing this stuff with my hands. Today, we're gonna do a Dollar Tree haul, which is funny because before this, I did a Nordstrom haul where I spent way too much money. I'll link it up in a card if you guys wanna see it. But the other day I was at Dollar Tree and I really didn't have a specific purpose to be there, but I just thought I wanted to walk around and see if there were any items on the shelf that I maybe needed to stock up on or like little hidden gems. So I wanted to share what I got and also maybe why I got it. The first thing, which is the biggest thing, not this bag, but this. <laughs> I got a broom. And you guys might find this like absolutely absurd. I don't have a broom. I've lived in my house for a year. No broom, no broom. What I do have though is like a little sweeper thing, like a little, you know, a li like a little guy. It's like, like this big and then I just sweep up stuff. I have that, but I don't have like a long handled broom. And I have been wanting to clean out my garage for a long time. There's lots of sand on the ground and things like that. So I think I'm actually gonna film a video about cleaning out my garage at some point. And I wanted a really inexpensive broom because I wanted to use it in the garage where it's gonna be super, super dusty. Not like in the house where it's just gonna be like dust and dog hair and like that kind of stuff. I wanted to get something pretty inexpensive. So I was very excited to find this for a dollar. And uh, this is gonna be my garage broom. And then I got a bag of fun right here. So let's get into this. So the first thing that I picked up was this. It is a dog toy and it is the like kind of jute. I think it's like jute. I don't know. I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's one of those like jute balls. And um, all of Doyle's toys now are like my design aesthetic, which is like team neutral all the way. So I'm gonna give this to him actually right now because he's sitting on the sofa right there and he looks like he really needs this in his life. But I did actually, like what I like to do with dog toys regardless where I get them is I like to kind of play with them a little bit and see if they would fall apart. So I kind of like tugged at the like ropes and stuff to see if it would come apart. Um, this is actually really well made and um, we'll see if uh, Doyle wants to play with this. Hey, Duber, you want this? Oh. You want that? Okay, don't lick it. You gotta eat it. You gotta take it. Oh, all right. Oh, are you gonna take it? Want me to throw it? Go get it. <laughs> all right, well, he's having fun with that now. He's dominating the toy now. That's kind of what he does. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Next thing I picked up was white duct tape. I don't have any duct tape at all, but I thought if Emily needs duct tape, she's probably gonna need white duct tape. Duct tape? <laughs> white duct tape. Because basically most things in my house are white or cream. So I thought that this would be a great thing to have. Um, and I'm gonna put this in my garage with all my other like tools and things like that. But I didn't have any duct tape, y'all. I don't know what my life has become, but now I have some and I'm excited about it. Next thing I got were these elastic support bandages and hopefully I never need these, but I don't have any of them in my first aid kit, but they are like this pattern, which is like a white and tan kind of a color with the little metal clasps. But I remember as a kid always needing these. I was in sports and that stuff. So I would need these like all the time but I thought that these were like really small and compact that they would work well in my organization in my bathroom. So I'm gonna hang on to these in the bathroom and if I ever need them, now I have them and they were just a dollar each. So I'm very excited about that. Next item is something that I have not had in a really long time, like basically since before I started planning, a blue Sharpie. I don't have a blue Sharpie. And as some of you know, I'm now kind of on the team blue I don't really know what happened there, but I'm kind of leaning towards team blue at this point in my life. I have a bunch of black Sharpies that are this size, but I didn't have any blue ones. So this is the fine point permanent marker and it was just a buck. So I figured definitely needed that. The next thing I found actually in the checkout and good thing because mine that I had before, like literally just broke. This is one of those um, tape measure sets 
and this is on a key ring and it like kind of pulls out hey, actually i'm gonna open it because i'm gonna put one of these in my car and then i'm gonna have one of these in the house too or actually one in the car and then one in my purse so it's usually when i need them is when i'm like out and about i'm not like that into this one i'm more into this one because it's got this like little thing you can just you know it's got the centimeters on one side and the inches on the other and then you hit the little black button and it just retracts back into it so yeah i mean everyone needs a good tape measure once in a while so i'm kind of pumped about this and it's like my aesthetic so I'm pretty excited. Next thing is like very near and dear to my heart. I got some of these. They are the baskets and I got two different items, but they come three to a set and they're both the same size. I do have these in there's like a longer version and then there's one bigger rectangle as well, but I don't have any of this kind of smaller rectangle version. And I thought that these would be great for doing some organizational projects that I have coming up very soon. Um, but yeah, so I really like these. They're not the sturdiest. I mean, clearly they're from the dollar store, so they're not super sturdy on that, and they're not very deep, but they're great in drawers to kind of organize and corral smaller things. So, um, especially like in a bathroom or even in your kitchen, you could definitely utilize some of these in your organizational projects. So I really like these, and of course that they're white. I like everything that's like white and clear just to make it look cohesive so I can kind of mix some high end with low end. So I do have baskets from the Dollar Tree mixed in with really expensive baskets from containers store and other high-end places but it all looks cohesive and nice so I just like that I kind of chose a neutral color palette and kind of just goes with everything the next item I got is very very odd but I have a reason for it I got these rain ponchos that are it says durable hooded and reusable I got these because it seems like in Minnesota in the summertime there's lots of like summery things that you do outside and every once in a while, there's like these little rain showers that happen. And these were just a dollar a piece. I ended up getting four of them and I'm gonna put these in my car. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because if you go to like a park or a fair or something like that, if they do have these for sale, it ain't gonna be a dollar. It's always gonna be a lot more than that. Um, I actually have plans to go to the Minnesota State Fair in the next couple of weeks. So I am definitely gonna be bringing these in my bag with me. And um, they're very, very light. Like they're very lightweight. Like just, they're on a couple fingers here. They're very lightweight. They're not very bulky either. And then at the end, if I don't wanna carry these back home, I don't really feel bad about trashing them either. So I got four of these and these are gonna just hang out in my car until I need them. And speaking of bags, I got these. They're, these are both a two pack and they are by Essentials. It is a sweater storage bag. I have seen Catherine from Doing on a Dime use these before as well as a bunch of these other things in her videos. And I wanted to try these out and possibly put some blankets and some unused things under my bed um, or maybe utilize some of the storage that is on the very top shelf in my master closet and put some of these things up there that I just don't want to get like super dusty that I still want to protect but maybe not have hanging but um, I'm gonna play with these they're probably not like the best quality but for what I'm using it for I don't think it needs to be and once I use some of these organizational items let me know if you guys want to see how I'm using them or maybe even like a closet or a master bedroom tour and kind of showing you all the little, like little nooks and crannies of storage systems and organization within that room so just let me know in the comments if you want to see that the next item I got is the vacuum storage bags i got the large there was a couple of other sizes that you could get and this one is 17 and a half inches by 27 and a half inches and um you just kind of suck the air out with your vacuum i actually just gave my brother a ton of these and they were i think the ziploc brand um he is needing them for some storage in his own home right now I did get three of these um, because I am planning on converting my guest bedroom into an office by the end of the year. Um, I do want to keep all of the bedding. However, the bed is no longer going to be here. And maybe I'll talk about that a little bit later in another video as to like what my plans are for that. But I do want to store the bedding and I thought that these would be a great way to do that. So I ended up getting three.
three of these and I might go back for more or like different sizes if I need them, I'm not really sure, but I'm even gonna be like storing some of the pillows as well. So I just got three of these and I'm just gonna be storing them in my own home. So I am excited to test these out. And the last thing I got was these bleach toilet bowl cleaners. I talked about, when was it? Target. I was at Target. Did I do a Target haul? I don't think it was an actual dedicated Target haul. I think it was in a vlog I talked about this. I have had such a problem with the water here in our like in my toilet bowls. I've got two toilets in this home and I can clean and clean and clean, but it seems like right after I'm done cleaning and getting all the like nitty gritties out of it, the next day the bowl just discolors again. And I think it has a lot to do with the water that is here. However, I decided to get some little bleach discs from like a major brand and they have been working so, so well. Um, after I clean my toilets now, they're staying sparkling clean and I love it. So definitely dropping one of these in my tank has been really helping with my water issues. So I decided, I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I was like, oh my gosh, there's two for a dollar and I've got two toilets so it kind of like works out. I'm like, well, you know, why don't I try these next time? Because I think the ones that I have right now are good for a month. So, uh, or like whenever they like completely dissolve out. And I am going to try these ones and see if they work. And if they don't, hey, it was a dollar. But I'm going to test these out and I'm very, very excited to try them. And I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that these work. Because if they do, I'm going to be there every month getting these. But that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And I want to know, what are your go-to things that you have to buy at the Dollar Tree? Like, what's a really good deal there? I really want to know. I absolutely love Do It On A Dime. That's Catherine's channel. I will leave that link down below. She's amazing. She does so many DIY projects and so many other things, and she's got some great suggestions. I'm not huge into the DIYs, but I love when there's like good items, like hopefully these are at the Dollar Tree, that why buy them anywhere else? So if you guys have like good cleaners or just good items, that you found at the Dollar Tree, let me know in the comments. I really, really wanna know. So that is it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.